Hey guys, welcome back to Fake Car Friday. So today we are looking at a card that's not really creative at all because the person pretty much just took a card and pretty much just made it another letter. Like, ooh, okay. You deserve a freaking creativity star. So today we are looking at card card C instead of card card D. Alright. You know, if you're, if you're an Asian parent, you'd still be upset. You, you'll get that car. First, you get that car car D. No, you get car car C. Why you no car no car car A? Why you get no car car A? <laughs> anyway, car car C is a light level 2 machine type monster. It has a thousand attack and a thousand defense. And the effect is during your main phase 1, if this card was normal summon this turn, you can banish the face up card you control, draw two cards, then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. You cannot declare an attack during the turn you activate this card. Alright, so it's like, pretty much like, card card D, except you discard. So, card card D, you summon it, you, you, you know, you, you go ahead and just tribute it to the graveyard instead of banishing it. You uh, draw two, and then you immediately end your turn. This, on the other hand, you uh, banish it, you draw two, then you discard one, and then you can't conduct, I mean, yeah, you, then you can't uh, attack during the turn you activate this card. Alright, that's... Decent, I guess. I mean, one of the balancing factors of Car Car D is the fact that your turn ends immediately. Uh, Car Car D is a plus one. It's like the you know the modern pot of greed. Well, this card's kind of like I don't know, like a upstart goblin, I guess you could say. Because you use this card, so you banish it, so that's minus one. But then you draw two, then which is one, then you discard. So you zero out. So it's like a go a glorified upstart goblin where you pretty much even out, where, you know, you're going through your deck a little bit faster, but you do even out. Uh, now, the thing with this is that all you basically get is the whole, oh, you can't, uh, attack. Uh, you know, card card D, the whole, like, you end your turn immediately, the whole, you're not really special summoning, say, aspect is gone off a of card card D, you can still go ahead and just spam it, and one of the best cards that you can use this card in tandem with is Soul Charge, because you can go ahead and activate this card as your normal summon, banish it, draw two, discard, and then you can go ahead and Soul Charge it up, you can't conduct your battle phase anyway, so you might as well Soul Charge it up, you just got a monster in the graveyard if you discarded a monster, uh, to go ahead and put that there, and, you know, you're already two cards ahead of what you would have been. So, you know, if you're not going to conduct your battle phase anyway, you might as well go off and just kick your opponent's ass. You know, I think that this card's a little bit stronger than card card C, like, I mean, card card D. Uh, this is going to mix me up, I'm just going to call it C and D. So, D, D is a balanced card, you know, you can't spread a summon, you just summon it, banish it, I mean, well, send it to the grave, draw two, and then that's it. You know, you turn this over, can't do anything else, just, oh, pass it to your opponent. This, on the other hand, you can do a lot more. You can go ahead and just go summon this, banish it, draw two, discard one, and, you know, continue with your plays. You don't need, you can continue the special summon and all that. So definitely, this card is, uh, not the, really the card that we really need for the game, but, uh, I can see where you're going with it. I mean, it'd be interesting if you go ahead and make like a card card archetype, like card card B and card card A, and the the deck pretty much revolves around drawing shit. But yeah, that's totally what we need is to draw more cards. That's totally what we need is for Exodia players to just draw. I mean, I'd probably think that, yeah, I think Exodia players would probably play this card, you know. You know, they really don't normal summon anyway, so they can just go ahead and normal summon, send it, draw two, discard. They don't care, so anything that can make them faster is, uh, Anyway, fast they can make the deck faster. They totally take it. So yeah, uh, you know it's kind of like an allure of darkness or a trade-in for everybody because you know you zero out because you play the card, you draw two and then you discard. So it's pretty much just a balanced version of that. Well, not a balanced version, but a, a pretty much that that everybody can use. So like how Soul Charge is the is the rekindling for everybody. This would pretty much be like the allure of darkness for everybody. But we already have kind of like the pot of greed for everybody. It's a little bit different stipulation, so eh, whatever. I mean, the card art is nice. That looks pretty cool. You know, different card from, from a different angle with a C on it instead of a D. It's pretty cool. So that's pretty much all I got to say about this card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, episode of Fake Card Friday. If you guys have anything to say about this card, make sure you go ahead and comment in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys think about this card. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another card. Thanks for watching.